the project, the really fashion project that I'm wearing today, I do not like. Hello, I'm back for showing off what I wear during the week. I haven't worn this in ages and I love it. The sleeves on this, oh, they are so gorgeous. I just love it. <laughs> I'm going to have to make someone like this again, I really do, I think the sleeves are amazing. And this, if you haven't seen the video tutorial for this, I will link it below. It's definitely worth a watch, it definitely is a project you should consider doing because these sleeves, oh, they are saying it, they're saying I'm here. In the video tutorial I didn't actually do this, this rosette sort of issue. And this was scraps that was just left over because as you know, or you may not know, or most people do know, that I try to use as much of the fabric, the garment, which then becomes fabric bits, um, as much as possible. So I used, this was a dress, and I used all of it, and I produced two items because the rest of the dress was on a t-shirt, which I'll wear at some point, I'm sure. But this little rosette just finishes it off. Oh, and you know, I really don't want to cover this up, this section, but I do have a trick in which I can still show off my sleeves, and this is a refashion project as well, which is a coat, because we still need coats, even though we've been told that we're going to have a, a heat wave, and it's April, and April's all about, yeah, spring and April showers. Showers usually means it raining and it is. Anyway, enough about the weather because I promised you guys I won't talk about the weather that much. So yes, to finish off my outfit, I am going to be wearing a coat. A sleeveless coat. I'm sure I do have a project on my channel that I did years and years ago, must be about more than five years ago, of this isn't this it was a jacket, it wasn't this, this particular one, this is a coat. Um, so I'll leave that below as well. Oh, I'm going to have to cut these details up. Maybe I'll make this into a brooch and then I can put it on the jacket. Ooh, that's an idea. But for now, I'll just pull these sleeves out. There's a sleeveless three quarter length coat. You still get to see a little bit of this fringe, not fringe, little frill I should say, detail. So jacket like that. Pop these sleeves up a bit more. So it's still trapped in the coat. I'll be done in a minute, trust me, I will. Okay. Yes. I'll just top, I'll just button the top button and leave the rest of it undone. Like so, there, yeah, that's nice. My hair, it's twist. I've got silver jewelry on, well, silver earrings anyway. And I'm going to go for a black scarf because, like I said, it's still, it's not as cold. Oh, yeah, oh that looks nice, yeah, that's good, yeah, um, should I wear a ring, yes I will, I'm going to go for this one, the one with diamonds, <laughs> with that ring with diamonds, and I'm going to add a bit more glitz with this Clutch. It's a clutch. Put it under my arm just like that. Oh yeah. Right choice of handbag, I think. I was gonna go for a top handle one, but it's too much, you know, hardware that was on show and I wanted something a bit more simple because I want the sleeves to shine. So this does it, and there's a bit of glitz within the ring, and I'm wearing my tap toe ankle boots, and that's my look for today. Do 
this outfit. My back to front jacket, refashion. The pants are from the CGL collection. Um, yeah, so I think there's a theme going through my outfits of the week this week, which is wearing black and white. Hmm. Yes, I think so. Anyway, like I said, this is a back to front jacket that I love. Look at these slits and these sleeves. <gasps> I cinched it in with an elasticated belt and um, yeah that's it really, it's, it's kind of just straightforward this. I do love it though, I will be making, I do think I will be fashioning the jacket in this manner. I just love it, it's just, just works, that's all I can say, it just works. Um, so the jewellery that I'm wearing today on my dangly earrings, so black jewellery really, apart from my silver bracelet. That rings, like I said, silver bracelet that ties in with the buckle on the belt. I've got pinstripe pants on, which is from the CTL collection. Which... Let's team it with my clutch. Hello, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Pauline Cheely. Hello, fashion sewers, how are you? So, my outfits of the week Friday videos. I hope you are enjoying them. Please let me know in the comments if you are. The reason why I do my Friday outfits of the week is to inspire you and show you how I will team my refashion projects in with along with my garments that I have designed, pattern drafted and also sewn, and some high street pieces as well, so ready to wear garments. So I'm hoping that I'm inspiring you and motivating you in you know, order for you to refashion any garments because you as you um, I'm not sure many of you may know that back in the day um, I did a lot of sewing techniques and I put sewing techniques in the description whenever I do video tutorials to help you with your project as you sew your project. You can always click on those videos or teach you in depth about certain techniques that I will be um, using in a project. I can't really do that in my project because my videos will be very long and I'm very worthy and um, of your time so I do thank you for watching my videos but like I said please click on those because it will really help you with your project to get a professional looking finish to your garments so going back to my outfits for Friday I hope they are inspiring you and um, if you want me to do a bit more in depth of my clothing I will do because I don't want to take too much of your time so um, I do talk about the weather quite a bit <laughs> I'm gonna hold back on that as much as I possibly can and um, so yes yeah, so let's just get into the video and um, yeah uh, I hope you enjoy it polka dots for those of you that know I love polka dots yeah <laughs> oh. The project, the refashion project that I'm wearing today, I do not like. I love it. It's gorgeous, it's simple. A confident beginner can do this project, which is a pair of pants to a long maxi skirt. Yes, a long maxi skirt with a slice, a side slit. <gasps> gorgeous. Um, yeah, I think I may be a person who's going to start wearing a lot more skirts, maxi skirts in particular. Because I'm not a great lover of skirts. I do love skirts, I do. But if you told me, would, um, if you know, give an option, skirts or pants, it's always been pants. I've always been a lover of wearing pants, I've always worn pants more often than not. And it's mainly to do with body portions of the bottom of the leg compared to my torso. And. Yeah, this is gorgeous. I can see myself making so many different versions of this. For sure, and definitely one with pockets. <laughs> so I'm going to have a look for pants that have got pockets, because I think that would be <gasps> amazing. It really would. Anyway, 
rather than me just talking about it, you want to see it, don't you? So before I actually show you the bottom half of me, I'm going to finish dressing myself up I'm in black and white with a touch of gold. That is on my polar neck. I've got the half tuck situation going on and you know I love that. And it kind of brings in the neckline of the top with this white trim here on the waistband. It's gorgeous. It really is gorgeous. You need to make this project. You really do. So, accessories. I am going to continue with this white and black situation that I've got going on most of this week. So I've got my white earrings. Yes, they are clip-ons. Been wearing them for years, clip-on earrings. There we go. Yes, white, white polka dots in my top. I don't have a white ring. So this one's going to have to do. So it's a clear ring. I've had this for years as well. I do, I do love it actually. The only thing about it when you put it on your fingers, the hairs that you're on, on your fingers, it's like, whoa. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to team it with this bag. I'll either carry it. So the if you're a person that struggles about matching certain colours together and you're thinking about gold and silver, because it's easier to match, I think, I would say for most people, or feel a lot more confident to match silver with black and white than gold. But when you've got a bag that is so cute and it's white with a black trim and gold hardware, sometimes start with perhaps your accessories and then follow through. Because I wasn't going to put this on to begin with, this polar neck, but I'm also wearing a polar neck tomorrow. I should have told you that. Forget that. Um, so yeah, and obviously I didn't want to wear the same polar neck two days in a row. So this one, and I was thinking about trying to twist it so you wouldn't see it, but I was like, no, Holly, it'll be silly girl. Um, so yes, yeah, so I decided to make that a part of my feature of my outfit. So yes, the handbag. I'll either carry it like this, so that you can see the slit, more attention to the slit, or crossbody, which would be a case, for me it would be both, <laughs> I've done both, but crossbody is quite nice because I wasn't, I wasn't too sure. Yeah, it's nice, yeah I like the crossbody. I just didn't want it to take away from the skirt, but I think it adds to the whole outfit, so the top is giving some um, attention, the bag, and then the maxi skirt that I'm in love with. And then I'm going to finish up my look with some sunglasses with white arms, because why not? There we go. Oh, oh, there we go. Yes, now I'm gonna show you the bottom half of me. to a daytime look with sparkles and I'm also wearing my pants that used to be no my skirt that used to be a pair of pants oh yes I'm loving my uh, refashions at the moment <laughs> I just can't stay out of them um, which is a good thing it shows you that I'm enjoying it and um, it is worthwhile the effort that we are putting into refashioning clothing that already exists. So yeah, so I decided this polar neck gave me the idea of putting on a gold belt. It's been ages since I've worn this belt. You don't even want it once. But a daytime look, hey, bringing out the glitz, the glamour, and why not? 
So I'm in like gold and silver and a bit sparkly today. So I've got gold earrings on. And like I said, I'm taking inspiration from my polo neck, which is jeweled. A silver bracelet. My belt, which is gold and silver. And it has diamonds in there as well. Well, maybe not. Okay, one can dream. <laughs> And like I said, I'm wearing it with a skirt that used to be a pair of pants. And um, I'll just give you a sort of twirl. And then I'll show you the rest of me. So I'm wearing silver shoes. Yeah, I'm going all out for this. <laughs> I really am going all out. And I'm also going to team it with let me see. This clutch. Oh, and this is also a refashion project. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. And then to finish off the look, my clutch as well. It used to be a skirt. Yeah, that's my look for today. And I'm going to be finishing it off with a man's jacket that I throw over my shoulders and wear it like a cape. Yes! And tuck my clutch in there like so. Ready for the day. Last day of the week. And it's getting warmer, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> So it's Friday, um, I'm wearing a grey polo neck and I am also wearing a skirt that you saw last week just because I am so in love with this skirt. Yes, let me show you quickly. <laughs> yes, that skirt. <laughs> I wore it last Friday as well, I think, I do believe. Um, it's it's the swishiness of it, if that is a word, <laughs> that I love and I walk in it and it's just a great new fashion project, it really is. So let me continue with what I am wearing. So I've got my choker kind of necklace on and um, so it's a bit of glitz in my outfit today and I'm going to wear some earrings. So let's see what earrings um, I'm going to go for. Uh, bear with me one moment because I didn't really forgot to organise my anyway, yeah, I'll be back. So I'm wearing my silver earrings, the clip-ons. And I'm going to wear my other earring. <laughs> I used to be an earring. Now a necklace. Yeah. Brilliant. And I'm gonna wear this clear perspect ring that magnifies hairs on your finger. And some gloves. And I'm going to team this with the jacket that I wore yesterday. With my, oh, I can't wear my ring. So what I usually do is put my ring in my handbag when I'm wearing my gloves. So that'll be the case. So I'll just bring you down before I put my jacket on so I can show off my skirt. with knee-high boots and the bag that I'm gonna go for <laughs> I'm dragging this out aren't I <laughs> it's going to be this one and then I'm going to take it with my Jacket. 
just wear it like a cape. Like so. There we go. My bangles. And that is Friday's outfit. You know what to do next. Yes, it is to like, share this video with your family and friends, do leave a comment, and also make sure when you subscribe, you hit the bell in order to receive notifications. That's very important. That way, you'll know when I upload my videos on a Wednesday, which is tutorials where I show you how to refashion existing garments. And then on a Friday, I actually show you how I style them, tune them with other garments that I have in my wardrobe. So if you are into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel and the subscribe buttons under the like button. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.